right here false click enter again enter next space right here and it copy from here and we write same script for other sensor also so paste here this is for l2 this for l3 for l4 last one l5 here we change l2 this is for l2 l3 this is for l4 L4 and this is for L5 now here I explain the script here you see if the motor is true the position of this motor is increment with one if the position is false, this button is not moved. <coughs> Here the position of the button is equal to L1 sensor, then it is true. If the position of the button is not equal to L1, this will be false. Same here, if the position of the button is equal to L2 sensor, then it is true. Otherwise, L2 is false. For the L3 sensor, if the position of the sensor and bottom are equal, it is true. Otherwise, L3 is off. So L4, if the position of the L4 sensor and bottom is same, this is true. Otherwise, it is false. And for the position of the L5 sensor is equal to the position of the bottom, this will be true. Otherwise, it is false. Now we place the value of L1 sensor, L2 sensor, L3, L4, and L5. Right click on this button, click on its property, click on animation, select here movement, double click on add new animation, select this horizontal movement, click on OK button, click here on three dots, click on add new. Right here, lamp position. Click here, OK. Collect this screen. Select this slider. Right click here. Click on its property. Here, in tag connection, double click on add new animation. Click on process value. Select here, OK. Select here, tag. From HMI default tag. Select this position, click on right shift, collapse this screen, click on my text, click on default text tables, here click on add new, here we add one clock for 0 0.5 hertz, clock underscore 0.5 hertz, here in the PLC tag column, Select from PLC default tag, clock 0 0.5 hertz, click on the right check box. Select this clock 5 hertz, click on its properties. Now click on events and double click on add function. Here you select VB function underscore 1.
So let's this is screen here. Click the arrow of the screen. Double click on root screen. Now select this clock. Right click to its property. In animation, double click on display. Double click on add new animation. Click on appearance. Click on OK. Here tag name. Select. Click on three dots. Here in TLC tag, expand this arrow. Select this default tag table. Select this clock 0.5 hertz. Click on right check box. Click on add new. Again, click on add new. Select this color. Select this background color for zero range, red, and for white. Green. So let's this is green. Select this PLC. Click on start simulation. Click on OK. Consider as a trusted. Click on load button. From down arrow, select the start module. Click finish. Minimize the simulator screen. Select this HMI. Click on start simulation. Using this slider. To note down the L1, L2, L3, L4, and L5 sensor value, and we place in the script. L1 value is 15, L2 value is 36, L3 value is 58, L4 value is 78, and L5 is 100. So we place these values in the script for L1, L2, L3. L4 and L5. Minimize this screen. Now in HMI tag, expand this arrow of script. Click on the arrow of this VB script. Select this VB function underscore 1. Double click here. L1 is 15. L2 is 36. L3 is 58. L4 is 78, L5 is 100, save this script, right click on HMI underscore 1, click on compile, select this software rebuild all, select this PLC CPU 1, Download Select this PLC Select this download Click on load button Click on finish Close this screen here Select this HMI again. Click on Start Simulation. Now select this Switch P. Now we select the Solenoid B. Click on Power On button. Move this, uh, move this bottle to solenite L1 by using this slider. L1 is detected the bottle. Click on start button. Now you see the bottle is moving when this will reach to L3 sensor. Solenite B is activated for 5 seconds. 
and when the five second is completed bottle again start moving Here you see LP detect this motor and solenoid is activated for 5 seconds. When the 5 seconds is completed, this motor is again moving. When this will reach to L5, this will go off. You see, sensor detect this bottle and motor goes off. I am sure you understand this dispenser project properly and try it by yourself. Don't forget to subscribe my channel to watch more videos on this channel, inshallah. Bye bye.